And introducing first. And now we the toss monster, it up to the Zhu world Kong, renowned ring announcer. out of Beijing, China. This world renowned this featherweight looks to pick up another round. big win here. Some of the and fastest this one has hands all of those in the big world. Fight fields Look at this, big from a so prize so fight. Here Look we go. That. It's hard. When you've got fights in there that really believe they're going to win, that's when the action happens. And what I say you must obey. Good luck. Fox. We're expecting an all action slugfest. No rest for the weary. Fight has a real good flow to it. The crowd has settled into their seats. They are ready to see something special at this amazing venue. This is that place you want to say, I thought that, I feel that, and now we are here. And showing exceptional chins, by the way. Nice job landing that left counter punch. Nice exchange here from both men. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. They're so close, so close. How can you separate them? It's going to be a hard night tonight for the judges. Then step back for just a moment. This counter puncher is going to wait for you to move first and then will strike like a snake. Keep an eye on this guy. Hard, I understand what you're saying, but you've got to be on this. You've got to be on it. You've got to be a pro. You've got to think right. Concentrate. Offensive display landing. This round still up for grabs with just 10 seconds to go. Great counter right hand there. Punch, counter punch. As bad as boxing judging can be sometimes, there's no doubt who won that round. And there's the bell to start round two. Well, there's no doubt about who won that last round. Let's see what he has for us here in the next one. Stamina, no injury, but still throwing punches. Why aren't they defending? You're not going to see a lot of finesse and skills from this guy. He wants to bury his forehead in your chest and pound away. You are fighting the swarmer. Be smart, be sharp, concentrate, but you've got to be confident. Do not dance his dance, because that's all where, once you do that, you're giving the man a chance that shouldn't have one. You can tell he's stronger, but he's not faster. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. Perfectly matched, skill for skill, tap for tap. Now this fight will say, you know what, I'm just that notch above you, and so I've got to respect both of them, more than happy. Just gets out of the way of that right uppercut. These punches coming from every angle. Neither man really defending themselves. That one will count. Despite what the judges' scorecards read, there are no losers in this one. Well, this is the time that the trainer needs to come in and say something special. This fighter needs to turn the tables in this next round. Wow, it's like two different. Let's get it started in round three. 
Safe to say that last round was a nightmare. Let's see if we can turn it around here. That was a tough last round. Now you've got to make sure he doesn't put it on him. And that's what he's going to try and do. So tie him up, hold him, lean on him. Don't get drawn into a fight. Not yet, not until your senses have come back. Both of these fighters love to let their hands go. I wouldn't be surprised if each one of them throw over a thousand punches tonight. Oh my goodness, that little Yorkshire Terriers, they're never going to give up. Good counter left hand there. Watch that jab. Missed him with that uppercut. exchanges from both men in this round. This is certainly an aggressive fighter, but that doesn't always mean success. How many times have you seen a fighter chase a superior athlete around the ring and just get picked apart even though they were the one pushing the tempo? I've seen some aggressive fighters like this, and they are a nightmare. If you are not fit, if you are not fit, that is the worst place to be, having second thoughts in the ring. How do you deal with an aggressive fighter? What you do is you fight, fight, we fight. You either give it and back because that's where they're comfortable, or you play calm, play cool. Oh, that punch! That uppercut just missed. You, all three judges here are going to give that round to you know who. I seriously hope the judges kept their eye on this fight because if they haven't, there's going to be absolute uproar. There's the bell to start round four. Now there's no doubt about who won that last round. Let's see what he has for us here in the next one. Both men step back for just a moment. You hear people talk about a boxer's chin. Do they have a good chin? Do they have a glass jaw? Those are questions that are being answered here tonight. Because you've got a good chin doesn't mean you've got leather skin. It means you can still get caught. So you've got to go for those pointed areas over the eyebrow, the cheekbone. You've just got to try and cut them skimming. Go for speed. How much confidence do you build when your opponents hit you with their best shot and you walk right through? Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. Both of these men showing exceptional chins, by the way. Totally impressed. You know what? You got skill. You got, oh my goodness. I admire these guys. people would have predicted it but we've got a knockout victory oh what a shot what a shot you see shots like that in the gym at least for once this is on tv thousands around the world saw that shot they probably even heard it 